Good day guys and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm doing a small review of a ring light LED that I got from the China's cash and carry shop. Hi guys subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly feel free to comment show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Now obviously I don't have money growing in the backyard so I cannot afford all this Delgado equipment although I would really have loved to get their green screen and the Delgado deck and so on. So the point is I don't have money to spend on brand names. I found that I, I needed a proper light and a proper lighting for streaming so I'm, I'm, I am busy building up my equipment as I go along. And then I saw this this ring light that I'm using right now um, at the China shop and it was so so affordable. They have different sizes. This is a 10 inch light and the price was only like 350 Rand. Where other shops you can buy up to 900 to over 1500 Rand for a light this, depending on the size of the ring of the light that you want. Introducing the Ring Full Light, made in China, bought at the China Cash and Carry. Like most products from the China Cash and Carry, there are no manual in this box and also no specifications printed on the box. The first components that you find out of the box are the components for your cell phone holder. A ball or swivel connection and obviously the ring light. The light also comes along with this handy control setup. You also get this very nice stand made out of metal. The stand is collapsible and it makes it so much easier for storage. The stand has three locations where you can adjust the height. The control section has four buttons, an on off switch, brightness up, brightness down and a control to give you different color lights. The ring light itself is made out of plastic and it's a 10 inch ring. The cell phone holder is sturdy and adjustable to accommodate most phones. At the back of the unit you will find some ventilation holes. What makes this light very convenient is that you don't need an external power source. It connects directly to your PC or laptop USB and that provides the power to your unit. When connected to a power source, your control unit will have a nice blue light. I have found on the brighter setting though, that the light can be quite blinding. As you guys can clearly see, my P30 Pro is fitting quite nicely. Let me quickly show you the light intensities and the color lights. As you can see you can dim it down, this will be the lowest setting for the brightness. And then to turn it up, just use the next button and that will take you to almost maximum brightness. I think that's your brightest you can get. There's also different color of light. I think depending on whether you are using it for streaming, filming, makeup or tone of skin. This light is more like a bluish and you have this yellow and you also have this white color. The swivel or ball joint connection gives you the freedom to adjust this light in any direction or position that you can possibly think of. So now that you have seen what the unit looks like and all the features that it has, let me show you what the different lights look like 
on me. Using the, the control module that you get with, I can obviously switch it off. So already you can see a big difference. Um, you can turn down the brightness totally. I think if I look at my face like this, this is still acceptable. Then of course you can adjust it again to full brightness. Oh, switch it off. Take it down to there, I think that's quite proper. Then also you have the different color lights. This is the white light. It's much more brighter. Whereas this one is a, a, a bit of a blue or a softer light. And uh, this is a, a yellow light. So depending on whether you're going to use it for putting up makeup or well, you probably want to use a different tone. So it doesn't mess up with your color palette when you put up the makeup or not. But I must say, I think I, I like this shade. I think I'm going to use this one most. Oh, and it doesn't get warm to the touch. That's nice. I can actually touch it and it doesn't even get hot. It is made of plastic. So, but I mean, it is serving its purpose. And the stand is metal and iron. It's quite a good quality stand. And when you're done, just fold it up and put it away. I am happy with it. I think it's going to make my, my videos and my streams looking much better. So anyway guys, so thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. I see I've got, uh, I gained another 4 subscribers. Guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll be happy with your stay here. And um, I'm even getting a couple of good comments from videos that I made 2 years ago. So keep it coming. And um, you guys will notice I haven't played another Resident Evil game because my deal was if I get a thumbs up, I will do a video. There was no thumbs up on the last video, so I guess the guys are already fed up with it. So unfortunately, I'm not going to continue playing that game. But for this week, at least, you've got this video. So if you want to see more of this type of videos, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. And then I'll see you next time. Cheers. Please head over to my webpage at www.cryptzone.co.za and come and check out the page. You will notice there is a lot of information on there. Hyperlinks are provided so that you don't have a problem going anywhere. Head up to my podcast page and come and see what am I currently working on on my podcast. There is also the Cryptzone live page which I will update regularly to let you know when I'm going to do the next show like this one. The goal is to try and do one every week. Head on over to my Cryptzone YouTube page and come and check out what are the latest videos that I am working on and also what new videos is up and coming. If you have any queries or questions, don't hesitate to ask. You can email me at shawl.reaper at gmail.com.